How are you guys doing? Today is Thursday, December 8th, 2022. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I am going to do an elite individual profile for Raheem Sterling. The elite English forward for Chelsea is currently turning 28 today, and my intention with this profile is, of course, to lay out what his career looked like, Um, up until right now as he is currently playing in his 12th season he is playing in the world cup right now which means he does have a lot of amazing soccer ahead of him so of course just for this moment of time i'm just going to take a real good look at what his numbers look like as opposed to the amazing player that he is if you're not familiar with um, Raheem Sterling, he stands in at about five foot eight. He is one of the like signature athletes in England, of course, being a very um, tenured player for club and country. He scored a lot of goals for England and for Manchester City, as well as the Liverpool, the team that would bring him up. He is a very quick player. He's an amazing player off the dribble. Um, he is a shot creator, a shot maker. He can make plays happen. He can be, he definitely has the visual on it. But I do think that like the best part of his game is just that like he just stays in really good pace and really good form. He's just he's just a, he's just a really good player in very good shape playing in a league that has a lot of pressure coming into every single game and I do think that his ability to rise up in a lot of big situations is what makes him that signature athlete in England and what gives him the number 10 jersey for England for um, international tournaments. So currently looking at what his career would look like, just looking at what his backstory would look like first, originally being born in Kingston, Jamaica, his family would move to London. Um, He would go on and find himself playing for a bunch of youth organizations before he was playing for Liverpool. Liverpool would be the club that would bring him up. He would play three games in his very first season as a 16-year-old in 2011-2012, as in that season, Liverpool would go on and finish with um, the eighth best record in the Premier League. That year they would go on and win the League Cup that year as in the final they would go on and beat Cardiff City off of penalty kicks after winning the game in extra time. Um, But of course, uh, that season, they would also go on and finish as runners up in the FA Cup. Once they made it all the way to the end, they would lose to Chelsea. Um, But looking at how Raheem Sterling would fare, he would go on and play more games in the 2012-2013 season. As in his age 17 season, he would become um, more of a starter with Liverpool. In that season, he would go on and, like I said, play 24 games for a Liverpool squad that would finish 7th in the Premier League as opposed to 8th the prior year. They would not win the trophies that year as that would be the year where Luis Suarez would lead the team in scoring for what would be the second year in a row. In the Premier League, Raheem Sterling would finish with 2 goals and 2 assists as of course a young teenager that was fighting for his opportunity. He would play one FA Cup game in a season that would see Liverpool um, get knocked out in the 4th round. Um, Also, he would go on and play 10 Europa League matchups in a season that would go on and see um, Liverpool get knocked out of the Europa League in the round of 32. That season, Liverpool would go all the way just to get knocked out in that particular round by Zenit St. Petersburg. Zenit St. Petersburg would get knocked out in the round of 16 by Basel. Basel would get knocked out in the semifinals by Chelsea. Chelsea would go on and win Europa League in 2012-2013. Following that season, Raheem Sterling would go into his age 18 season with Liverpool as this was a season where he would start to see more goal production. In his age 18 season in 2013-14, he would start 24 of the 33 games he played for a Liverpool squad that would finish second in the Prem. This would be the first time they finished in the top two in the Prem since 2008, so of course it was a very good season for them. This will be known as the season in which Luis Suarez would set the Premier League single season record for goals scored. Um, But in this 2013-14 season, as a winger, Raheem Sterling would add nine goals and five assists. That would be the most goals that he would contribute while playing for Liverpool, at least while playing in the Premier League. He would also go on and play in the FA Cup and League Cup. However, in those seasons, Liverpool would finish in 
in the fifth round of the FA Cup, and they would get knocked out in the third round of the English Football League Cup. Following that 2013 season in which Liverpool would neither compete for the Champions League or for Europa League, Raheem Sterling would see himself competing with England for the very first time in, the, in a big international tournament in the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. As in Brazil, they would end up losing their group stage matchups to Italy and Uruguay, drawing with Costa Rica as England would end up losing in the group stage round. Following their early exit in 2014, this would lead into Raheem Sterling's fourth and final season with Liverpool. In his age 19 season there, he would start 34 of the 35 matches that he would play for a Liverpool team that would finish sixth in the Premier League in total. Um, looking at where they would fare, um, how he would do in the Premier League itself, he would finish with seven goals and seven assists. His seven assists would be the most assists that you would put together in a season at Liverpool, showing that he could score and assist, doing it from really both sides. He was also able to add three League Cup games in a run that would see Liverpool get knocked out in the semifinal round. As in that semifinal round of the Football League Cup, they would lose to Chelsea. Chelsea would go on and win that League Cup to Tottenham. They would end up also getting knocked out of the semifinal of the FA Cup that year. In the semifinal round, um, Liverpool would lose to Aston Villa as Aston Villa would lose to Arsenal in the final that year. In that FA Cup, Raheem Sterling was able to add a goal and an assist that year. Um, the Liverpool team would end up getting, they would play in um, the Champions League. They would get knocked to Europa League as in that final year with Liverpool in the Europa League. Uh, Raheem Sterling and Liverpool would end up losing in this particular round to Besiktas, the Turkish club. Besiktas would lose in the round of 16 to Club Brugge. Club Brugge would lose in the quarterfinals to um, Ukrainian side Dimitro. Dnipro Predovisk, sorry if I completely butchered the name, as that team would end up losing to Sevilla in the final. So that is how that Europa League season would end. And after that, he would find himself playing for Manchester City after he was transferred for 44 million pounds. And once he would go to Manchester City, he would start 23 of the 31 games he would play in his first season there. As in his age 20 season, Manchester City would finish with the fourth best record in the Premier League. This would be after the year where they would finish um, in the top two for the prior four years. Um, in that first Premier League season with Manchester City, Raheem Sterling would finish with six goals and two assists, making it the third year in a row. He had at least five Premier League goals, at least maintaining that constant as a young player. Um, in that season, he would go on and play four League Cup games where he would finish with three assists and a goal. As in that 2015-16 season, they would end up winning the League Cup. They would go all the way to the final where they would beat Liverpool one to nothing, eventually going to penalty kicks and beating his former team. That would be the lone trophy that Man City would claim that year. They would end up losing in the fifth round of the FA Cup. As in that FA Cup, Sterling would add a goal and an assist. In the Champions League, Sterling would add three goals and two assists as he played 10 games in a run that would see Manchester City lose in the semifinal round of Champions League. This year, they would end up losing one to nothing to Real Madrid, who would go all the way to the final and beat Atletico Madrid in the midst of their prime, or at least in the midst of Cristiano Ronaldo's prime. And that, of course, would lead into Raheem Sterling's very first appearance with England at the Euros in 2016. In 2016, England would make it out of the group stage after drawing with Russia and Slovakia and beating Wales. However, in the round of 16, they would lose to Iceland as in 2016. Um, that Iceland team would eventually go on and lose to France in the quarterfinals. France would go all the way to the final where they would eventually go on and lose to Portugal. 
following that 2016 Euros exit, Raheem Sterling will come back to Man City for his second year with the team in his sixth year in the Prem. In his age 21 season in 2016-17, he would start 29 of the 33 Premier League matches for a Manchester City team that would finish third in the Prem, um, one place higher than they finished the year before. This would be the second year in a three-year stretch that they would finish trophyless as a club. And to this date, 2016-17 is the last season to date that Man City would go completely without a trophy. In that Premier League season itself, Sterling would finish with seven goals and eight assists. That would be the first time he had at least eight assists in a Premier League season, making it four years in a row that he had at least five goals. Um, alongside that Premier League season, he would go on and play five FA Cup games, finishing with a goal and four assists in a season that would see um, less that would see Manchester City finish in the semifinals of that cup. Looking at how they fared in the international level, Raheem Sterling would go on and add two goals and five assists while playing eight Champions League games in a run that would see Manchester City lose in the round of 16. They would lose to the French side Monaco off of away goals. Monaco would go all the way to the semifinals where they would lose to Juventus, and Juventus would lose in the um, final to Real Madrid. Like if they would lose to a Monaco side, that would include Kylian Mbappe if I'm not mistaken. Of course, following that round of 16 exit, Raheem Sterling would return to Manchester City for his third season there. And in his seventh year in the Prem, he would finally be on a team that would win the entire Premier League. In his age 22 season, he would start 29 of the 33 games he would play for a Manchester City side that would win the Prem for the first time that he was there. It would be the third time that they would win it as an organization in a seven-year stretch, which of course is incredibly impressive. Um, in that Premier League season, Raheem Sterling would finish with 18 goals and 11 assists. That is the only season in his career where he's finished with a double-digit amount of goals and assists in a Premier League season, not to mention he did so for a winning Manchester City side. Outside of the Prem, um, Raheem Sterling would play three League Cup games as he would go on and finish with an assist in a season where they would finish winning the League Cup that year. In the League Cup final, Manchester City would go on and beat Arsenal 3 to nothing. In the FA Cup, they would end up getting knocked out in the fifth round as Raheem Sterling would add a goal in that tournament. In the Champions League in 2017-18, Raheem Sterling would play eight matches as he finished with four goals and an assist in a season where Man City would end up losing in the quarterfinal round, just a round further than last time, as this time they would get knocked out by the English side Liverpool. Liverpool would go all the way to the final where they would lose to Real Madrid 3-1, to as that would be um, while Ronaldo was still there. That would be the last championship he won before he left for Juventus. After the 2017-2018 season, this would necessarily lead into um, the second World Cup that Raheem Sterling would play for England. As in Russia, England would go all the way to the third place playoff game where they would lose and finish as the fourth place team. In their group stage matchups, they would be Tunisia and Panama as they would end up losing their third group stage matchup to Belgium. In the round of 16, England would end up beating Colombia off of penalty kicks eventually. They would beat Sweden 2 to nothing in the quarterfinal. They would end up losing to Croatia in extra time in the semifinal round before losing to Belgium for the second time in the tournament in the third place playoff game. That would be the last World Cup that England would finish because we are still in the midst of the 2022 World Cup. But following that 2018 exit, Raheem Sterling would return to Manchester City for his fourth season there. And in his eighth season in the Premier League, he would start 31 of the 34 matchups he played for a Manchester City side that would win the Premier League for the second year in a row. This would be the very first time that in, in Manchester City's history that they would win the Premier League or the league that they were in 
two years in a row. So that would be a very historic season from that standpoint. As within that Premier League season, he will go on and finish with 17 goals and nine assists, making it the second consecutive year that he would finish with a double-digit amount of goals, not to mention he did it for a two-time Premier League title winner. Raheem Sterling would add three goals and two assists in an FA Cup run that would eventually see Manchester City win the entire thing. In the FA Cup final, they would beat Watford 6 to nothing as Raheem Sterling would score the last two goals of that particular matchup. They would win the FA Cup for the first time as a franchise since 2011, so of course that was a big win for them. Also, they would go on and win the League Cup as within that League Cup run, he would go on and finish with an assist in the three games he played. In the League Cup final, they would go on and beat Chelsea off of penalty kicks. Raheem Sterling would score the last kick for Manchester City to give them this win, the second time that they would win it in a row. And since Raheem Sterling joined the team, that would be the third time that they would win the trophy in a four-year span. Also, they would go on and win the um, Community Shield, which is the English Super Cup. They would beat Chelsea as Sergio Aguero would score both those goals. This would be the first time that Man City would win the Community Shield since the 2012-2013 season. So they would basically win all of the trophies that there were to offer in, in England. I imagine that that is the very only time that Manchester City has done it in their franchise's history. When they had a chance to do it at the Champions League level, Raheem Sterling would finish with five goals and two assists doing his best. He would play 10 games in a run that would see Manchester City lose in the quarterfinal round. That year in Champions League, they would find themselves getting knocked out by Tottenham Hotspur as that Tottenham team would go all the way to the final where they would lose two to nothing to Liverpool but this was Man City's chance if any to possibly pull off one of the most iconic um, seasons in English football history however all of their their other four trophies would make it still an iconic year following that 2018-19 season this would lead into Raheem Sterling's fifth season with Man City and his ninth season in the Prem. In his age 24 season in 2019-20, he would start 30 of the 33 matchups he played for a Man City team that would finish second in the Prem. This would be the only time in a five-year stretch that they would uh, finish uh, second instead of first. This was also the year where the COVID um, pandemic would push back the end of the season and would even distort the championship. Champions League tournament. However, while finishing second in the Premier League, Raheem Sterling would finish with 20 goals. This would be the lone season that he would lead in Manchester City in goals scored, as this would be the lone season in his Premier League career that he would score 20 goals. His one assist would be the least amount of assists that he would put together in a full season as well, as alongside his 20 goals, he would go on and finish with one FA Cup goal and a season that would see Man City finish in the semifinal that year. That year, they would go on and win the League Cup, however, as they would beat Aston Villa 2-1 in the final. In the Community Shield in 2020, they would go on and tie with Liverpool, winning the game off of penalty kicks, as with this win, that would be their second trophy of the year. In that 2019-2020 season, Raheem Sterling would finish with six Champions League goals as well as three Champions League assists in a season that would go on and see um, Manchester City get knocked out of the quarterfinal round of the Champions League for the third year in a row. In the quarterfinals, they would lose to Lyon, the French side, as instead of two legs, it was just one leg because of, you know, like COVID. And Lyon would go on and lose to Bayern Munich in the semis as Bayern Munich would go on and win the Champions League in 2020. Um, this, of course, would lead into um, Raheem Sterling's sixth season with Manchester City after the Euros got pushed back a year because of COVID. In Raheem Sterling's age 25 season and 10th year in the Premier League, he would go on and start 28 of the 31 matchups he would play for a Manchester City side that would eventually go on and go back and win the Premier League for the third time in a four-year stretch. 
In that 2020-21 season, Sterling would finish with 10 goals and 7 assists. Even though he had half of uh, half the amount of goals as he had the prior year, it would be the fourth year in a row that he would put together a double-digit amount of goals in the Premier League. Alongside his 10 goals and 7 assists there, he would finish with a goal in the FA Cup and two goals and an assist in the League Cup. Looking at how they would fare in domestic football, they would end up losing in the semifinals of the FA Cup for the second year in a row. However, they would win the League Cup for what would be the fourth year in a row. This year, they would beat Tottenham Hotspur 1-0, as this would be the fifth time that they would win it in Raheem Sterling's first six years there. That would be the second trophy they would win. Um, The closest they would get to winning the Champions League final while Raheem Sterling would be there would be in the 2021 final. In the final, they would go all the way to face off against Chelsea as Chelsea's Kai Havertz would score the lone goal to beat Manchester City in that matchup. Following that 2021 loss to Chelsea, Raheem Sterling would compete with England in the 2020 Euros, which were played in 2021. In the group stage, England would make it all the way through after beating Croatia and the Czech Republic, and they would draw with Scotland. Raheem Sterling would score both of their group stage goals as they beat Croatia 1-0 and they beat Czech Republic 1-0, both off of Sterling goals. In the round of 16, England would beat Germany 2 to nothing with their first of two goals coming from Raheem Sterling, the second one coming from Harry Kane. That would be the last goal he scored in the Euros. In the quarterfinal round, England would beat Ukraine 4 to nothing as Harry Kane would score a brace in that game. And then in the semifinals, they would beat Denmark in extra time off of Kane's extra time goal. In the final versus Italy, they would end up losing off of penalties in that particular matchup. This, of course, would be the tournament where Italy's young goalie, Gigi Donnarumma, would make a name for himself. And following that 2020 Euros exit in 2021, this would lead into the last full season that Raheem Sterling has played to date in what would be his seventh and final Manchester City season in his 11th season in the league. In his age 26 season in 2021-22, he would start 23 of the 30 games he played for a Man City team that would win the Premier League for the fourth time in a five-year stretch. In that Premier League season itself, Raheem Sterling would finish with three goals and five assists, making it five years in a row that he would score a double-digit amount of goals in the Premier League for Man City. Last season would be the seventh year in his career that he would put together at least five assists in a Premier League season. Additionally, alongside that Premier League season, he would go on and finish with one assist as Man City would finish in the fourth round of the League Cup, finishing their four-year stretch of winning that particular tournament. They would lose in the semifinals for the third year in a row of the um, FA Cup as Raheem Sterling was able to add a goal in that tournament. Looking at how Man City was able to fare at the Community Shield, they would finish as runners-up as they would lose to Manchester City 1-0. In the Champions League, however, they would go all the way to the semifinal round. That year, they would get knocked out by the Real Madrid team. That would beat Liverpool in the final. So, of course, that would be how um, that leads us into this very particular season that we're in right now. After seven seasons of playing at Manchester City, he would go on and sign a five-year deal with Chelsea in London, still staying within the Premier League, but with playing for a third Premier League giant. Very rare that you see players do this. And, of course, so I'm like you can see Raheem Sterling definitely making the most of his English soccer career. So far this season, Raheem Sterling has started 11 of the 12 matches he's played for a Chelsea team that is sitting even with 7th place Brighton in the table as they are currently sitting um, 5 points out of 5th place in the table as things currently stand. Uh, So far this season, Raheem Sterling has 3 goals and 1 assist from just a club perspective and even just taking a look at where Chelsea's sitting, they're still pretty active in their domestic tournament. Even at looking at at where they are in Champions League. They are getting ready to face off against Borussia Dortmund. Their first match will be on February 15th, so we're still months out from that matchup, um, as he still has yet to win a Champions League tournament. This is a player who's already won the Premier League title, 
And as of right now, he is competing with England to help England try to win its very first World Cup title in what would be a very long time. Uh, as of right now, the only time that England has won the World Cup was 1966. And as of right now, England is active in the quarterfinals as their quarterfinal matchup will be against France. So far in the group stage, um, Raheem Sterling has scored a goal as he scored in their first group stage matchup versus Iran. They won that matchup 6-2. to two. They would draw their second matchup versus the United States and beat Wales 3 to nothing in that third matchup. In the round of 16, England would end up shutting Senegal out 3 to nothing to make it to where they're facing off against France this weekend. They will be playing France on December 10th, which is a Saturday. It will be the 2 o'clock p.m. game. It will be the fourth game of four to happen, and it'll be very interesting to see how that game will shape Raheem Sterling's legacy. But even though, you know, there, it's rare when you see individual games that will shape legacies, but this one most definitely will. So with that said, I do want to thank everyone for listening. I hope all is well. And please show Raheem Sterling some love. You get a chance to watch him. If I'm not mistaken, he's wearing number 10 for England. Um, but for Chelsea, he's wearing number 17 as it is his first season there. With that said, I want to thank everyone for listening. I hope all is well. And peace out. I will catch you with more tomorrow. I do want to thank the um, FIFA, the Premier League, the Wikipedia, the Footy Satch, Transfer Mark, Football Reference, like everything that helped me get all the stats and numbers for this because of course I can't just do this by myself and I do want to thank everyone for listening I hope all is well and peace out I'll catch you with more tomorrow